Every gardener dreams of soil so dark and rich that it almost looks like coffee grounds, the kind of soil where your hand sinks in easily, where water soaks rather than runs, and where plants practically leap out of the ground. But getting there often feels like a battle. Many of us add compost, mulch, and even fertilizers, yet the ground remains stubborn. That's why we decided to test one of the simplest, most accessible combinations of organic matter that nearly every gardener has on hand. Crushed eggshells and grass clippings. We buried them in the soil and tracked how long it took before they transformed into black, crumbly material. What we found was not only surprising but deeply practical for anyone who wants to turn kitchen and yard waste into fertile ground fast. You know, eggshells and grass clippings might just look like kitchen and yard scraps, but chemically speaking, they're actually powerhouses when it comes to building healthy soil. Eggshells are almost pure calcium carbonate, and that's a slow-release mineral that not only enriches your soil, but also helps balance the pH if your ground is a bit too acidic. Grass clippings, on the other hand, are packed with nitrogen and break down pretty quickly when there's enough moisture and microbes around. But here's the thing. If you use them alone, they can get compacted and even turn slimy. When you mix them with something mineral-rich like eggshells, though, you end up with a much more balanced decomposition process. So the real question we wanted to answer was how long it would take before this mix no longer looked like scraps and instead resembled black soil. To make the test fair, we started with equal amounts of each material. One part crushed eggshells to three parts fresh grass clippings by volume worked well as a baseline ratio. For a small bed, this would be about one cup of finely crushed shells to three cups of grass. The materials were mixed thoroughly to distribute calcium evenly through the nitrogen-rich greens. So we dug these shallow trenches about six to eight inches deep, placed the mixture inside and then covered it back up with the native soil. The depth was pretty important. It kept the mixture moist, but still let air get in there. We went ahead and repeated this process in several different spots and then marked each area. That way we could dig back into it after two weeks, one month, two months, and three months. The goal here was to see the visible and textural changes at each time frame and really track how the material transformed from waste into humus. So, about two weeks after burial, the grass clippings were already unrecognizable in most spots. Instead of those bright green strands, the material had turned into this dark brown mat, starting to soften and lose its structure. The smell was earthy, not foul at all, which is honestly a good sign that decomposition was aerobic. The eggshells, however, were still clearly visible, though some of the smaller particles had started to edge into the soil around them. So, microbes were feeding actively on the nitrogen from the grass, but, you know, the calcium carbonate was still waiting for more microbial and fungal action to break it down. At this stage, the mixture did not yet resemble soil, but honestly, the process was well underway. By one month, the story changed significantly. The grass clippings had nearly vanished, broken down into dark, crumbly, organic matter that blended with the surrounding soil. Worms were starting to appear in the mix, feeding on the decayed material and leaving casts. The eggshells were still visible, but smaller pieces had darkened as fungal threads colonized them. At this point, if you scooped a handful of soil from the trench, it was moist, slightly sticky, and richer in smell than the surrounding earth. For gardeners, this stage already represents improvement since the soil structure was looser and more water-retentive compared to control spots where nothing was buried. Comparing the soil to control spots, you could really notice the difference. At the two-month mark, the mixture had nearly completed its visible transformation. 
The grass clippings were fully gone, now indistinguishable from humus. The eggshells, while not completely dissolved, had broken down into tiny flecks that were starting to integrate with the soil particles. When tested by hand, the soil was darker and held water much better. Plants nearby showed greener growth compared to sections where nothing had been added. The combination of nitrogen from grass and calcium from eggshells had clearly sparked microbial activity and earthworm presence, both of which drove the soil toward that ideal black crumbly texture gardeners seek. So, after about three months, the buried mixture had completed its cycle. What had started as eggshells and grass clippings was now this dark, crumbly material, pretty much indistinguishable from healthy topsoil. The eggshells had dissolved almost entirely, leaving just the faintest white specks here and there. Worms were abundant, and the surrounding soil had taken on a darker hue that extended several inches beyond the original trench. Moisture retention was markedly higher, and even during a dry spell, the buried section stayed softer and cooler than the untouched soil. This confirmed that the combination not only decomposes, but actively improves the entire soil environment within a single season. For gardeners who want to try this approach, the process is straightforward. Collect eggshells from your kitchen and rinse them to remove residue. All right, so let them dry and then, you know, crush them as finely as possible. The finer the crush, the faster the breakdown, really. Now pair this with fresh grass clippings, using roughly one part shells to three parts clippings. It's a simple ratio that works wonders. Mix them well, then go ahead and bury the mixture six to eight inches deep in trenches across your bed. Cover it all up with soil, and if conditions are dry, water lightly. That's it. In hot weather, decomposition will follow the same timeline we observed. Visible breakdown within weeks, usable soil within about two months, and fully matured humus within three. Cooler conditions may extend the process, but the results will still come. This can be done in rotation with crop cycles. Burying the mixture after harvest, so that by the time you plant again, the bed is enriched and softened. Many gardeners, you know, spread grass clippings and eggshells on the surface, but the transformation is slower. Grass tends to mat, repel water, and even go anaerobic when left on top, while eggshells can linger for years without noticeable breakdown. By burying the mixture, you bring it directly into the soil food web, where microbes and worms can access it immediately. And, you know, the consistent moisture and moderate temperature underground really speed decomposition dramatically. Instead of sitting exposed, the material becomes part of the soil ecosystem from the start. The simple test with eggshells and grass clippings reveals an important truth. Soil building is less about adding fancy amendments and more about balancing what you already have. So here's the scoop. The eggshells provide minerals, the grass provides nitrogen, and the burial provides the environment. Together they create a natural composting system right in the bed without the need for bins, piles, or waiting years for materials to break down. Pretty neat, huh? Now for gardeners dealing with stubborn, dry, or lifeless soil, this method offers a low-cost, accessible path to improvement within just a single season. It's really quite a game-changer. The test proved what many gardeners suspected. Common scraps, when combined wisely, can transform into fertile black soil faster than most expect. Crushed eggshells and grass clippings buried in the right ratio become more than waste, they become the very foundation of thriving beds. If your soil feels hard, pale, or unproductive, this method is one of the simplest ways to bring it back to life. Try it in one section of your garden this season, and watch the difference by harvest time. For more practical soil revival tests and proven techniques, make sure you subscribe to Hydro Haven, 
and share this video with gardeners who are ready to turn everyday scraps into rich, living soil.